Hi everybody, it's me, Mrs. You. I'm so glad that you could join us today for God's Kids Online. Today, we're gonna have a story, a craft, and we're gonna have a Bible pup quiz at the very end with my dog, Murphy. Right now, we're gonna do our prayer. So please fold your hands and bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear God, thank you for your love for us. Please help us to learn more about you and show kindness to everyone. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, are you ready for the story? The first man and woman, Adam and Eve, lived in a beautiful garden that God made for them. But Satan came as a crafty serpent and tempted Adam and Eve. Did God say you must not eat the fruit from these trees? The serpent asked Eve. Just the tree in the middle, Eve replied. If we eat from it, we'll die. You won't die, said the serpent. There's a reason why God doesn't want you to eat from that tree. If you do, you'll be like him. You'll know what he knows. Eve ate the fruit. She gave some to Adam, who was with her. He ate it too. And at once, they knew things they had never known before. One thing they knew was that they were naked. They sewed leaves together to cover themselves. They'd never felt fear or shame before, so they knew something was wrong. Adam, God called. Eve. We're hiding, said Adam. We're naked. You know that because you ate from the tree, God sighed. Then Adam blamed Eve, and Eve blamed the serpent. God said, Serpent, you must crawl on your belly. A woman's son will defeat you. Eve, childbirth will be painful. Adam, growing food will be difficult. Then God made clothes for Adam and Eve and sent them out of the garden. He put an angel with a flaming sword there so they could not return. Did you pay attention during the story? I did. That's good because later we're gonna have our pup quiz. The story was a bit sad today because it was of Adam and Eve disobeying God. He told them that they could eat from any of the trees in the beautiful garden that God had created, but except for one, they were not allowed to eat from one tree. And guess what? They were tempted and they disobeyed and they ate from that one tree that they weren't supposed to. Well, now it's time to do a craft with Miss Kaylee, our missionary in London. She's going to tell you all the different supplies, so you may have to pause the video so that you could go around your house and get the supplies such as scissors or tape or paper. Okay, let's go to craft. For our craft this week, we're gonna be making a snake, like in the story. For this craft, we're going to be using some tissue paper, scissors, a white piece of paper, and we're going to cut it out into making the snake. We're going to start with the white paper, and we're going to cut into it kind of like an S with the snake. It's going to be a big S that goes all the way around the paper. And then we're going to make the head, so you're going to kind of make like a circle. And then we're gonna go right back around the body. So right around the S again. And as you get to the tail, you wanna make it a little bit smaller. There you go. Now we're gonna be using the tissue paper. So I put two different colors of green tissue paper for our snake. And you're gonna cut out like pieces And then we're gonna take glue and we're gonna put it around on the body of the snake. And then we're gonna take the little pieces we cut out and we're gonna crinkle them up and we're gonna stick them on the glue.
And then when we're done with our snake, just like in the story. Now it's time for our Bible pup quiz. I hope you were paying attention during the story so that you can answer the questions along with Murphy. We'll see if you get more right or if he gets more right. We're going to have just three questions today. <laughs> okay, here's the first question for our pup quiz. What was the name of the garden where Adam and Eve lived? Was it A, the Garden of Eden, or was it B, the Garden of Tomatoes? Hmm. Hey, Murphy. Remember the story? Was it A or B? Keep thinking. Keep thinking. If you said the Garden of Eden, you're right. Murphy was right on that one, too. Ah! Question number two. How many trees did God tell Adam and Eve that they could not eat from? How many trees did God tell Adam and Eve that they could not eat from? Was it A, five trees, or B, one tree? Okay, Murphy, here are your choices. A or B, what do you think, huh? What do you think? A or B, push the, push it. Oh, you gotta push, there you go. <laughs> you're silly. If your answer was B, one tree, you were right. Sadly, Murphy didn't pick B, he picked A. I think it's just because he likes trees. Remember how in the story, Adam and Eve were tempted and then they disobeyed God? Question number three is, were Adam and Eve punished for disobeying God? You can't get them all right, Murphy. It's okay, try again. Oops, what happened here? There you go. Yes? If you said, that Adam and Eve were punished for disobeying God, if you said yes, then you're right. They were punished. They had to leave the beautiful garden that God had created for them. How did you do on your pup quiz? Did you get them all right? I hope so. Murphy did a pretty good job. He got two out of three right. Excellent, Murphy. <laughs> okay, we'll see you next week. Say bye, Murphy. Bye-bye.